Good morning everyone and I hope everyone's keeping nice and isolated at the moment. Here I am by myself in the uh, JCU Cairns Aquarium Facility that's jointly run by Biopixel where we do a lot of our macro and specialty filming as well. And I'm here today to talk to you about sharks and we've had some questions sent in. So starting right there is a one from Loz. What advice can you give for divers should they come across a shark, particularly a large shark, on the reef which is acting inquisitive and getting close. I spend my life out there working on sharks and very rarely have I ever had a large shark come in and act inquisitively. We go out of our way to get into you know, situations where the sharks are feeding uh, and generally there's no real problems with a lot of the reef sharks. But a large shark like a tiger shark or a great hammerhead the important thing is when you're underwater with them is to constantly keep your eyes on them. Never turn your back towards the animal. So if you see one, and it's pretty rare that they'll actually come close to you, just lock eye contact with it as it swims by. People go diving with these animals all the time now, particularly in the Caribbean. And the important thing, the take home message is always to keep eye contact with the animal. Of course, at any stage, if you feel threatened, um, get out of the water but do that in a calm orderly fashion just slowly move away backing away from the animal keeping that eye contact but for me if you get to see a large shark underwater it's a good day Roach asks the question what is the update on the removal of shark nets on Australian beaches and what other sustainable options being trialled instead of shark nets well we do have shark nets and drum lines still being used in various parts of Australia including here in Queensland the nets and drum lines are along the coastal waters with the exception of um, some drum lines and netting occurring on places like Magnetic Island. The uh, scientific committee that's been set up by the um, fisheries department is looking at alternatives. Unfortunately at this point in time there's no one silver bullet. Uh, the emerging technologies all have their pros and cons. You know, things like drones are really good where the water is really clear and you have a nice contrast white sandy bottom to see predators whereas up here in North Queensland where the water is quite murky drones are very limited. Electronic barriers and physical barriers also have limitations because of things like wave energy and fouling but everything is currently being looked at and investigated and with the aim of trying to come up with a more sustainable future and a more sustainable way to manage shark people interactions. You can follow what's happening, you know, the Shark Smart website to look at advice because at the end of the day, the best way to protect people from sharks is common sense. Here in North Queensland, we live with the world's most venomous animal, the box jellyfish. And through good science, we learn when and where the animals occurred. And what we do is we manage the people accordingly. So we have stinger suits, stinger season, education program about the um, stingers and of course stinger nets. So we manage people, not the animals. So what we are trying to do now is to get to the same point with sharks, is through good science know when and where they occur, so then ultimately we can use people, their common sense, to manage interactions. Kate asks, what happened to Zuza, the tiger shark on reef tracks? This is a very sad story. Zuza was a beautiful female tiger shark we tagged here off Cairns, actually, on some reefs just out the front here. And we tracked her for many, many uh, months, and then she disappeared. This is pretty normal. What happens when the sharks disappear is like the battery has run out, tag has fallen off. Uh, but then Zuza suddenly reappeared many, many months later up near New Guinea. And then a few days later, uh, we were getting constant hits every couple of days that she had not moved at all. So looking at the data, we... Uh, worked out that unfortunately um, Zuza has been killed, uh, the tag has been removed and is sitting in a fishing village in uh, New Guinea. It's not illegal for a tiger shark to get caught, they're not a protected species and we, um, by looking at the data again, that she was actually caught close um, to Port Moresby. But it is a classic example to show that you know these animals go long distances and they cross state and international borders. Devoted to the ocean asks, is it safe to go diving on the reef? Yes, it is. You know, the reef is a wonderful place to go diving and snorkeling. Um, if you happen to see a shark when you're out there, you're very lucky. It's very rare to see these animals. Unless there's food source of, uh, around, 
they generally will swim away from you even before you get to see them. So my advice is if you do ever get to see a shark, just take your time, stop moving, watch it, and just enjoy the moment. And lastly, Nicole asks, what are some of the biggest threats to sharks and is there anything individuals can do to protect them? Lots of things there, Nicole. So biggest threats to sharks are obviously overfishing. So the best way to help that is to avoid consuming any shark product. So avoid eating flake, um, shark oil, tablets, all those kind of things. And obviously really bad things like shark fin soup. What you can do if you love sharks, talk to your friends and family about sharks and how wonderful they are. You can become a shark ambassador and, um, and help them that way. And of course, the other problem sharks are facing is lack of um, uh, habitat, uh, through habitat destruction, whether that be inshore areas of seagrass, mangroves, even the reef itself. So anything we can do to mitigate uh, habitat destruction uh, and also related to that is of course the biggest threat climate change so we have climate change affecting these areas but also the food sources uh, so whatever you can do turning those light switches off while you're sitting at home in the rooms that you're not using anything you can do can help of course you can learn more about what we're doing um, with biopixel oceans foundation and citizens of the great barrier reef and follow live some of the animals we're tracking at the moment through the reeftracks.org link uh, set up by citizens. You can follow where these amazing animals are going because at the end of the day, better knowledge will allow us to better protect these animals in the future. So stay safe and um, hopefully we can get back out there and enjoy the sharks pretty soon.